Hey everyone, sorry it's been so long since my last video. Been preoccupied with work and a uh, couple designs I'm working on. Unfortunately, my lathe uh, is kind of down for the time being. Uh, I'm getting some parts made for one of the chucks so I can start doing work on it again. But like I said, I'm kind of designing a new valve here. Um, but I figured I would go over uh, a thought that I had and I tried out and it seems to be working and what that is is multi-shot capability pretty much using the same devices I'm using now uh, like I said I am working on a new valve that will get rid of the trigger assembly I currently have I'll use that on something else I'm sure in the future uh, but enough of that let me get down to describing my new valve design um, or the current valve that I have on here which I will then be implementing into my newest valve uh, it's almost the exact same gun as it was in my last video if you've seen that uh, the only difference here is this was originally sorry about my shaky camera work this was originally vented to the atmosphere um, I tried two different designs and I'll show you both of them this is the current one that works in my opinion pretty well um, but before I did that, let me grab something here. I got a brass plug. Uh, this would have normally been completely square on the end. Uh, I had to sand it down so that it fit in there. And then I could turn this handle all the way and that would just rest up against there. Um, anyway, so this was a. So normally, in all my previous videos, this has been just open to the atmosphere. So what happens is when you pull the trigger, the pilot volume behind the piston uh, gets released into the valve and would just directly vent right out. So what I thought of is, well, if I can somehow hasten that release of the air, the valve should close quicker and I might be able to get multi-shot capacity. I definitely should be able to get multi-shot capacity out of this massive um, 0.64 liter tank. Um, so the first thing I did, like I said, is I tried this plug here and what I did is I drilled a super tiny number 60 hole all the way through it uh, my idea was that it like I said would slow down the outflow of air and the valve inside the QEV would close quicker and give me multiple shots um, it somewhat worked barely I could get maybe two shots out of it the other thing is you had to be really fine with your trigger control if you just pulled it just really slightly um, it worked but if you pulled it like I normally would have it would still dump all the air in one shot so the other idea I came up with which I have working now and I'll show a demonstration up here in just a second is I have a Schrader valve adapted to a 3 8 inch NPT uh, re uh, I guess it would be a reducer uh, so what this does is now this output is sealed until I push the Schrader valve release. This Schrader valve has been modified. I, I cut some threads off it to make it easier to press in the valve stem. Um, also, if it was a normal height, for, like I said, it would be hard to press in this tiny little valve stem here. Let's see if I can get a picture of it. Uh, this metal tip here. Number one, it was hard to press it in because none of it really exposed. And secondly, if you were able to press it in, your finger would end up sealing the output of the air, so no air would come out of it. Kind of getting off topic, as I normally do, rambling in these videos. Sorry, I'll try and uh, shorten it up here real quick. Anyway, so what this does now is when you pull the trigger, it dumps, but it dumps into a sealed area. So immediately, it dumps the, the pilot volume into here, and then the pressure equalizes between the two, and it forces the, the valve in the QEV shut again. Um, so in this current setup I'm going to show you, you have to manually, after you, after you fire, then you have to manually press in the Schrader valve and it dumps the air out and then you can fire again. In the new valve I'm making it's going to be better oriented, um, but the, the plan is to have a trigger actually mounted forward here somewhere, like a bullpup design, with linkage connecting it so that it, uh, there'll be a slide here and I'll have a ball on the end of the Schrader valve and so what will happen is when you pull the trigger 
um, it'll first dump the, the pilot air volume from the previous shot and then it will um, seal this again and then fire the shot, the current shot and then the air will be trapped in there until you pull the trigger again, releases, then fires. Um, but anyway, it'll probably be easier if I just show you this real quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this gun up to 400 PSI. I'm going to fire it and then I'm going to dump the air and shoot again. And I'm also going to show you a, a view of a pressure gauge that's hooked up to the hose I have hooked up to it. Um, showing you how much it dumps each time and it's about 50 PSI uh, so if I fill it up to about 600 I should get let's see 12 shots out of it probably eight pretty decent ones um, but enough talking let me fill this gun up I'll get you zoomed in on the pressure gauge and we'll take a look at how this thing actually works alright guys so as you can see the gun I got the hose running to it there uh, and the tank is currently filled to about 350, it's about 355, 355 PSI. Uh, the tank valve is shut off, so this is strictly just the air that's inside the black chamber on the gun itself. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fire a shot. I'll show you how the mechanism works, more or less the valves. And uh, then I'll show you a picture of the gauge and show you that, like I said, it dumps about 50 PSI each shot. So, let's take a look at the gun here. Hopefully that'll work. Get my safety off. And, let's see if we can zoom up here a little bit. All right, there we go. So I'm gonna fire this. there it fired and actually that wasn't a full shot um, you have to pull the trigger kind of quick and all the way but anyway so then what happens is like I said you dump the air from this side of the valve then so here I'll take another shot and this time I'll I'll do the actual shot there we go full full pressure shot there dump the air and uh, I'll show you the pressure gauge remember this was two shots so it was kind of one and a half actually uh, so we're down to just under 300 PSI. That first shot took us to about 340. Um, so, like I said, about 50 PSI per, sh per full shot. So here I'll take another couple quick shots. I'll take two more really quick, show you those, and we should be down to right about 200 PSI then. <clears throat> so let me get this camera set up here if I can. All right, so we'll take two more shots in fairly quick succession. And we'll take a look at our gauge. And sure enough, we're just over 200. So I'll finish up these shots here real quick. Make sure we're emptied. Just probably have a better view of that. Sorry, guys. And as you can hopefully hear from the sound it's we're at 50 psi right now um, so they're pretty weak shots uh, but those first those first couple were, were pretty powerful um, like I said you know at 600 psi I should be able to get 12 shots full shots or 12 shots out of it and I'd say about eight of those are probably going to be pretty powerful um, as you can see, hopefully you can see this, uh, the valve interferes with my filling setup currently. Um, that's part of the reason, so it's at an angle here. Um, that's part of the reason I'm going to go with a new trigger assembly, and like I said, I will be machining a, a new valve for this that kind of puts everything where I want it. Um, hope to go over a little bit of that information uh, once I got my lathe back together and going again. Um, and I could do some lathe videos too if you guys are at all interested. Sorry about this video being so long, but I uh, hope you enjoyed this update. And uh, maybe even before I get the valve done, I'll do a couple shooting videos. Um, it's getting pretty cold here in the Midwest, so uh, I'll probably have to do it in my garage or something. It's been really rainy as well. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll get some shooting videos to show you the power of each of these shots. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for that. 
Sorry about the delay in videos. Hope you're all having a great time. See you soon. Thanks.